stick it to the Diana, she was genuine. You know what I mean? She, I don't know. She just, it was like, there's loads of people giving money to charity and that. But she was different. You know what I mean? And she did take, a, like, most people just give money, but she took time to actually go down there and get involved. So she knew, she knew the situation down there because she used to go there herself. She wasn't, she wasn't frightened to, you know, to stand up for people that nobody else wanted anything to do with, you know? You know like people with AIDS and people that are homeless and people with different kinds of problems, drunk, drug problems, drink problems or whatever. You know, she was, you know, she was just, she just seemed to be there for everybody, you know? No matter what you were, she didn't seem to judge people, you know? That's what I liked about her. And I met her twice, and like, you couldn't meet a better person, you know? She was just fantastic. I mean, she did things for the homeless people that nobody else could do. And she had time for you, you know? She sat there for hours, she, she spoke uh, about what you wanted to talk about. If you asked a personal question, she'd answer them. She was a really, really nice lady, you know? And like, her kids as well, I met her two kids. She brought her kids in 96 to a hostel in Houston, another cold weather, and um, William Harry there, they're like really, really good kids, and that's who I really feel sorry for. I'd be a hypocrite if I went to a funeral. I never met the person. You know what I mean? You only go and show your respects to someone that you know and love and, you know, give a monkey's for, don't you? So why should I be there? Oh, I'm going, definitely. It's nice to show that. You care, you know, she cared for us, so why don't we show that we care for her, you know? That's what I think. What are you going to be doing on the day of the funeral, Debbie? Oh, I'm going to go down there. Not the whole time. But I'm going to go down there a little bit. I can't miss one. I was going to do that. Somebody said I'll take one red rose or something. I'll take some of that. I hope that down this life and death will change people's attitudes and make them be more concerned for the homeless, you know, and make them feel that they want to help people that are homeless, you know, in whatever way they can, you know, even if it's just uh, acknowledging somebody that's asking them for money instead of just walking by them and blanking them, you know, uh, she wouldn't have done that. She wouldn't have blanked anybody, you know, if she had asked any, if anybody had ever asked her for something. She wouldn't blank them, you know. So if people really are concerned about her, then follow her example. My advice to all you people that ain't used to sleeping on the streets is just get yourself in a nice padded sleeping bag, get a nice little pillow, a nice blanket over the top, and you just take a nice flash with you, get some hot tea, and if need be, a hot water bottle for them that have got like arthritis or something. But once you get in a sleeping bag, you'll be all right and just say your little prayers and you'll be away for the night.